Injuries are one of those parts of football dreaded by everyone. Players, the opposition, managers, fans. Nobody likes to see a player get injured. Apart from the fact that we always want to see a healthy competition between players at peak fitness, it also breaks our hearts to see players writhing in pain, or even worse still, careers ending as a result of an injury. But we want to bring good news today. In this video, we will be telling you about five players who went through really horrible injuries but made miraculous recoveries. Number one, Rahul Jimenez. Perhaps the most recent miraculous comeback from injury we have been blessed with to see in top flight football. On November 29th, 2020, Rahul Jimenez suffered a season-ending injury just five minutes into a Premier League game against Arsenal. The Wolves striker clashed heads with Arsenal defender David Luiz, and while the Brazilian was able to continue playing with only minor injuries, the Mexican had to be stretchered off immediately. He was unconscious. Jimenez was immediately rushed to a hospital where he received attention until he became conscious. The following morning, it was announced that he fractured his skull and would need surgery. Rahul Jimenez played his first official game since the injury on the 14th of August, 2021, in the Wolves' premier opener of the season. He was on for 90 minutes. After the game, the 30-year-old talked about how great he felt to be back on the pitch after almost a year out. He said that the doctor told him it was a miracle that he was still alive. That injury did not only threaten the Mexican's career, it threatened his life. According to him, there was bleeding in his brain, and it was pushing his brain inside. So the surgery had to be quick. He was really thankful to the doctors who saved his life. Rahul is back playing for his club, Wolves, and has so far appeared in all their Premier League games. But following the instruction of his doctors, he will be wearing a headband while on the pitch till his footballing career is over. Andre Gomez. The Portuguese midfielder suffered a severe ankle injury while playing a Premier League game for Everton against Tottenham Hotspur. The injury happened as a result of a tackle by Spurs attacker Hugh Min Song. To show you how bad the injury was, Son was originally given a yellow card for the foul because everyone who saw the tackle knew it wasn't intentional. But when Martin Atkinson, the referee officiating the game, went over and took a look at the state of Gomez's ankle, he immediately changed his decision to a sending off for Son. That decision was later rescinded by the English FA. Even Son himself was in tears when he took a look at the ankle. Perhaps he was hoping and praying that he hadn't ended this man's career. But to his delight, Gomez and surely the rest of the world, the former Barcelona man made a very swift recovery after his surgery. Everyone was so shocked to see Gomez return as a substitute in the Premier League against Arsenal just four months after the injury. If you saw the state of Andre's ankle after the injury, you would know that it was nothing short of a miraculous recovery. Number three, Luke Shaw. When Manchester United signed Luke Shaw from Southampton in 2014, they made him the most expensive teenager in the world. He was such a huge talent at such a young age that he was sought after by some of the biggest clubs in Europe, including Chelsea and of course, Man United. And it made sense that all those clubs wanted him. As a teenager, he had already made it into the PFA Team of the Year. He kept rising in Manchester United until a Champions League game against PSV in September 2015. Shaw suffered a double leg fracture from a sliding tackle from one of the PSV center backs. The injury was so bad that the Englishman needed an oxygen mask and attention from nine medical staff to stabilize him on the pitch before taking him off and straight to the hospital. Many thought that young Shaw's career was over, or at least he wasn't able to play at the top level again because of the severe damage the injury did to his legs. The United left back was out for a year. He missed the remainder of the 2015-16 season, but rather surprisingly, he was back just in time for the 16-17 season. Luke Shaw has since gone from a career-threatening double leg fracture to becoming one of the best left backs in the Premier League and even scoring in a Euro final. Does a comeback get more miraculous than that? Number four, Peter Cech. 
You ever wonder why Peter Cech wore a helmet for the most part of his career? It was because of an injury he sustained in a Premier League game way back in 2006. Stephen Hunt, then a Reading midfielder, hit the Chelsea goalkeeper's head with his knee, and that caused Peter to have a depressed skull fracture. The doctors who attended to Cech said that the goalkeeper nearly died as a result of that injury, but somehow, miraculously, he made his comeback to the top flight just three months later. He, however, had to wear that now famous helmet, even long after the injury had completely healed. Starting a few games after his comeback, Czech went on to more than 800 minutes without conceding a single goal in the Premier League. He also became the first goalkeeper in seven years to be named Premier League Player of the Month. Peter would go on to win numerous titles after the life-threatening injury, including the championship.